Hello, Dave. Are you there? Okay. Hello, Dave. Can you hear me? Hello, Dave. Can you hear me? Hello, Dave, can you hear me? Okay, I put it on. Can you hear me now? Hello? Hello. Hey, I got it going. Took me a while to get uh, get everything set up. Uh, hold on. Uh, can you see Telegram here? On your computer? Yes. Oh, wow. I got it working. Okay. Hold on. What I'm going to do... All chance. Uh, okay. Hold on here for a minute. Yeah. Hold on here. It's uh, this one here. Okay, uh, you can see my computer and you can hear me now, right? Yes. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay. I want to get rid of the uh, the names here, but I can't. I don't know why I can't do that now. Wait. You won't let me do that. I don't want other people. Well, we're going to have to let that go. Okay. Uh, unless I can. Uh, let me see. Hold on. There we go. I got it. Okay. Can you see my uh, telegram right now? Yes. Okay. We're on uh, 
Telegram here. And uh, what we're going to do today, I wanted to go through the uh, the common fractals for, for you that we uh, post every day on uh, Neil's channel here. Okay, not his channel. Oh, why can I don't want that. There we go. Do, all right. Do you have it now? You see yes. everything here? Hello, Dave? It's showing. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, let's go back. Uh, all right. Now, today, what I wanted to do is uh, show you the common fractals that uh, Neil, he'll post uh, every other minute, half hour, an hour, all through the entire day. Okay. And the reason we use Telegram, uh, it's pretty quick. You can't do it on a web page. Uh, it takes a little bit too much time. And because of the way the market moves, uh, we'll simply uh, post a, a fractal picture and put a, a small description on what we're looking at. Okay. Uh, we've been doing this for a long time and the idea here now hopefully we can save the video and you can uh, review it you can go back to the video and look at the particular fractals okay now trying to name them uh, again there are so many it, it's kind of difficult uh, I thought about one two three ABC but uh, the idea would be to uh, recognize the fractal at a glance, okay? And what we're going to do here today, we're going to be looking at the fractals, and then uh, we're going to put it uh, in a video for you, and then you could open up the video, all right, during the trading day, and then you can match the fractal from the actual video here to what is actually occurring in the market. Okay. Are you with me? Okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, number one here, the uh, fractals, uh, again, they're uh, similar and sometimes not so similar. Okay, quasi-fractal. Now, uh, Bill is uh, trading uh, Bitcoin on the weekend here. Now, you can use the fractals in any market, okay? Uh, any stock, I mentioned that before, on um, any index, um, an option. And what he's doing here today is uh, looking at the uh, Bitcoin uh, fractals, okay? Now, he found a one-hour Bitcoin bottom here, and here's the fractal here, again. Okay? So when you see the particular form here, one, two, three, four, five okay that's the bottom meaning the market will turn the fractals will give you the turning points now ideally this fractal here one two three four five that leg here should be a little longer okay but again yeah, it's not but it has a similar form so when you're looking at the fractals you are, are trying to look at a similar form Okay, and uh, thereby we're looking at an art form. Okay, so this is a, a bottom fractal. Now, when you see uh, a bottom fractal like this against the real-time uh, market, okay, we can get a turning point. How, how far is that going to go? We don't know. I mentioned that before until another fractal appears. So in the meantime, uh, we assume we have a turning point here, and it's going to go up. So you would enter, okay, on a low confirmation. You can enter over here at the 5757, okay, and you put your stop at the bottom of the fractal there, okay. And then the Bitcoin should rally. Uh, ideally, uh, we could go up to the top of the fractal here. The top of the fractal is here. The bottom of the fractal is here. Okay, and we're long, 
and hopefully the market will continue to rally. On the longer t uh, time frames, they're a bit more uh, reliable. Uh, you can depend on them because on a, a smaller time frames, um, i.e., for example, one minute, three minute, five minute, ten minute cycles, they kind of move kind of quick. Okay, but you can use the smaller time frames uh, as a uh, as a base copy as a base, and hopefully it'll come into a, co a copy factor. But right now, uh, what we're doing and what Neil is doing is looking at uh, a simple standalone fractal. Okay, so what we're doing today, we're looking at a simple standalone fractal. Now, this is a Bitcoin bottom. Now, you can mark this um, on a piece of paper at 57.57 and say, okay, we, w we went long at, at 57 here, and you put a stop over here on the bottom. All right, so uh, what we're looking at here is a bottom fractal for a bottom turn. All right, let's go up one and see what else uh, he found. Um, okay, uh, now he found a 30-minute uh, time frame uh, on Bitcoin. Okay, where's that 30-minute uh, fractal? Okay, it's uh, this one here, right here. Okay, and 30 minutes. Now, when you see this form here, okay, one, two, three, four, five. You have an equal leg here, and you have an equal, equal leg here, and then you have a little dip, okay? This is a common fractal bottom turn, all right? Uh, now, that's an update. Uh, hopefully, he found it earlier, okay? So, again, this is your bottom fractal on Bitcoin, one, two, three, four, five. The idea is uh, try to visualize <clears throat> the actual uh, form as a uh, pair. Now, uh, we've been doing this, you know, for a long time. Hence, we can uh, look at the chart and say, oh, there it is, the bottom. Okay, time to enter. As the market uh, began to uh, rally here, you would enter, put a stop at the bottom, and look at how the market uh, goes up. Now, he pointed out that we have a 30-minute uh, bottom update, and hopefully he gave the 30-minute turn on a bottom. Okay, look, okay. Okay, he, he, he pegged this uh, on this uh, particular fractal. Again, this is a bottom fractal, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, he pegged it uh, over here, all right? Um, now, a lot of times... When a fractal uh, a bottoms and it, it turns, it'll spike up, all right? So uh, getting in uh, at times may be difficult. You may have to uh, uh, wait for a little pullback and then enter, okay? But uh, in the beginning, he found this fractal right around here, okay? And then a little bit later, okay, look what happened. It went right up, and it went above the fractal top here, meaning it went higher, all right? So this is a, uh, an update on the original fractal that he found here, okay? When he found it here, he found it here, okay? He found it right about here, okay? And you could enter there, and it, uh, as long as uh, it doesn't uh, break uh, support here, it should continue to go up. So he found it here. He entered, okay, and then uh, your stop would probably be around uh, the other decline over here. So if you entered here, okay, it went that it went up, went down again, and then went back up again. So this would be a really good example of uh, simply finding the standalone fractal bottom here, memorize it, okay, refer back to the video example, and then when you um, find a form, like right here, the top, the bottom, the bottom, definite bottom here, then you can go along, okay? But again, when, uh, when the fractals turn, uh, they're really going to spike 
and go back up again. Okay, so that's uh, how he did the Bitcoin today on the, he found that on the 30 minute uh, time frame. And this is uh, the update on the 30 minute time frame. Uh, the markets are, uh, a, lot, a lot of the markets are, are closed but bitcoin does trade over the weekend you can do the cryptos uh on a weekend all right so you can use the fractals every day during a week on equities and you could do uh the cryptos on a weekend okay uh let's take a look at another common fractal okay now i believe okay he's looking at the uh um the uh es here and he found uh seven waves up now we talked about the seven waves up uh, many times okay now here's the particular fractal okay one two three four five six seven okay it turned now when you have a fractal turn uh it's going to go down uh pretty quick all right so you have to kind of use your adjustment here if uh the bottom is over here okay and you got the top here uh, the target ideally would be the bottom here. All right. Now that's seven waves up. Uh, well, we're not trading now. Again, uh, we're looking at uh, the one minute time frame. So um, if uh, you got to be really uh, quick on that, uh, that's really meant for scalpers where you're in, uh, in and out like really quick. All right. But if you're trading, um, it's uh, probably a, lot, uh, a little safer. If you look at the longer time frames, like the one hour, two hour, three hour, then you have a little more time to work with. Okay, but on the smaller time frames, you can find these fractals all the time. And what we do, we look at uh, the common fractals on the smaller time frames, because on the smaller time frames, okay, they will iterate on the larger time frames. All right. The seven up here, uh, we talked before, where the seven up will appear on the 10 minute time frame, the 30 minute time frame, the one hour time frame, the two hour, four hour, uh, daily, and so forth. So looking at the uh, one minute time frames, uh, you'll find probably most of the fractals there. Okay, but again, uh, if you're going on a one minute time frame, uh, I would probably go there for uh, uh, a good practice run so you can uh, f become familiar with that. Uh, put that in your memory, uh, review the video again, and try to uh, find out if you can find uh, that particular form on another time frame in another market. All right, so that's the ES. Let's go back here now. What else does he have here? Okay, now he had a um, a five minute bottom update, and he said it's uh, it's going to reverse down. All right, the standalone fractals. And that's all we're looking at today: standalone fractals, just common fractals. Uh, when uh, a fractal uh, breaks the support or resistance, okay, uh, that's a reversal. So looking at the uh, five minute uh, ES here, all right, uh, the fractal is right here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, again, you have the top here and you have the bottom here. Now, ideally, uh, if you look in the catalog, uh, you would have a big leg down and a smaller one and a smaller one. All right, so this one here, uh, it's similar, but not exact. So uh, you'll have to learn how to kind of scale that fractal. Uh, if it appears similar to a, a larger scale, ideally it would go all the way down, then, then a little up, a little down, a little up, a little down. This one here, it went down, and then down again, and down again, all right? Uh, ideally, again, you get the spike, you know, on a turn, which it went up, and then it broke support, meaning that's a reversal. So instead of the ES going up, it went down because it broke support 
on the fractal bottle. Okay. Again, uh, you, that happens on the top too. If, if you have a top fractal here, all right, uh, that means it's going to go a lot higher. All right. Originally, the direction here was intended to go up and the target would be up here on the top of the fractal. But uh, it attempted there, it failed, and then you have a bottom reversal, meaning the uh, market's going to roll down, which it did. Okay, so that's a bottom reversal there on a bottom fractal. Let's go to another one here. Okay, uh, okay. now we're looking at uh, gold. Okay, on the longer uh, time frames, uh, Dave, they're, again, a little bit more reliable because uh, you don't have to watch it like every minute or every five minutes. And he detected a, a fractal here, okay? And uh, the top of the fractal, he pegged it at 1988.50. Uh, now, that's the top fractal there, and you have a bottom here. And this would be probably a... Uh, uh, it's a slider, but it's a little unorthodox because, again, the sliders, uh, they should be equal, uh, a leg here, a leg here, but uh, the uh, final leg up here was kind of extended, and he's looking for a top here, okay? So uh, that's uh, a quasi-similar fractal because ideally we want uh, a, a leg up here and then a leg up here, but it kind of extended, which sometimes that happens, okay? But uh, that would be an indication of a turn, and then it drops, okay? So uh, he's probably looking for a uh, longer term into uh, a week or two if that resistance holds at 1988. Uh, gold is probably going... Uh, going to go down however again the top here now if gold rallies up above the, the top here that's called a top reversal okay because uh, gold didn't break it now if it's top reversal it's going to go a little bit higher okay so fractals will tell you uh, if the market is going to go up or if it's going to go down right now currently here gold we have a turning point to go down all right so you can base your trade on that. That's on. Uh, that's a gold fractal there. Okay, let's take a look at the. Uh, oh, this is a real nice order. Okay, now uh, he's looking at the uh, uh, the weekly gas bottom here. Uh, this particular fractal here. One, two, three, four, five. Again, it's very common. All right, and it denotes a turn, which it did here on the bottom. One, two, three. Four, five, a turning point, it went back up. However, all right, uh, it's starting to uh, test support here. Now, if we break the bottom of the fractal here, that becomes a bottom re reversal, meaning the fractal will continue to go down. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty close call here. Um, sometimes uh, it'll test the bottom. And we'll have to find out what, okay, uh, well, he's looking at the weekly, all right? So uh, during a week, you could take a look at the uh, this particular fractal to see if it holds. If it breaks that bottom there, it's going to go down, okay? Because ideally, the target, uh, once it makes the bottom here, it should uh, go right back up. But it appears to be kind of testing the bottom here. If it breaks the bottom here, that would be a good uh, trade to uh, go short on, on that particular fractal there. And let's see what else uh, he's finding. Okay, now this is on the uh, on the Dow, the 30-minute time frame. He's got resistance at uh, 33,350. Uh, I think this was probably on Friday. And again, we have... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven, but I think the Dow went a little bit higher on Friday. So the reason that happened, the top here, it went above the top and went higher. 
Okay, that's on a Dow. Again, the fractals you can use on uh, any uh, time frame. Now, on this one here, he's got a Bitcoin uh, top, and the fractal here is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That's not too clear. It's kind of uh, quasi uh, similar. Let's find another better one here. Okay, we got a good one here. Okay. Now, he could, uh, he has a Bitcoin top here on update. Now, uh, the top here, again, we're looking at a seven up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. The top here could be a reversal up because it kind of tested that top there quite a bit. Uh, there might be a throwover sometimes on the fractals where ideally uh, the top would be right here. And what it did is just kind of bouncing around on the top here. And, oh, that's the daily uh, Bitcoin. So that would be a good candidate uh, uh, for uh uh, for the week to see what happens. Okay, so you would have to kind of uh, sit and wait on that one. Okay, let's look at another one here. Oh, this is a beautiful one. Okay, uh, we've seen this before, haven't we, on gas? Okay, now uh, he pointed out a five minute time frame on the ES, uh, a simple standalone fractals. We're only looking at the standalone fractals, okay? Uh, right here. One, two, three, four, five, a turning point, and it goes back, back up again. So um, he uh, got that at 115. I don't know if that's our time or he's in London, so he's like five hours uh, ahead of us here. But uh, one thing I want to, okay, mention right here. All right. Uh, the fractals are similar in all markets. Now, we have a five-minute uh, bottom here. One, two, three, four, five. Now, we saw that earlier uh, at the beginning of our session here. So uh, put that in your memory here. One, two, three, four, five. Because what we're going to do, we're going to take this particular form, uh, this particular fractal, and we're going uh, we're going to find out and kind of uh, kind of prove the point that they are similar and they appear all the time. All right. So uh, put this uh, in your memory right now or write it down on a piece of paper. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this particular fractal and prove that it appears time and time and again. All right. So I'm going to, okay, memorize that fractal. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, go back down here again and find out if that fractal appears again somewhere else. So keep that fractal in your mind for the time being. Okay. Memorize it. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's identical to the one above. Now, this particular fractal, uh, it broke uh, the support here and went back down again. All right. So you're going to know if the market is going to go up or if it's going to go down. Initially, uh, we would expect a rally here, but the fractal bottom was broken and we went back down again. Okay, Re remember this fractal here. One, two, three, four, five. That's on the e ES on a five-minute time frame. Re uh, put, uh, put that in your mind right here, and we're going to go back up. We're going to go back up to find the same fractal. Oh, there it is there. Okay, that's the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder if that's the same one that he's... Uh, I think that's the same one that... Uh, yeah. that I think that's the same one that... Uh, he thought it was uh, going to be a bottom here, one, two, three, four, five. And what happened, I'm going back on Friday here. And what happened on that ES uh, fractal, 
Okay, I believe. I believe that's the same one here. Okay, it attempted to go down, up, and then went back down again. So that would be uh, the same fractal. Uh, it went up, and then it fell. Okay. Okay, what does he have here? Okay, he has another uh, five-minute time frame uh, standalone fractal update. Um, how did he do that? Uh, that was a little throwover, I think. Let me see here. Hold on. Uh, is that the same one? Yeah. Okay. Now, this would be a, a, a little throwover here. Uh, he had a uh, five-minute bottom here. Okay. It rallied, then it broke, and it kind of, you'll have a little throwover, but you have the general fractal bottom here. And what happened, it had a little throwover, and then it rallied. So if you take this little fractal here, okay, uh, it is this one here, and it went down a little bit more, a little throwover, then it shot right back up again. All right, so on the turning point, they're going to be pretty close, okay? Uh, sometimes you'll have a throwover, uh, maybe a point or two, and then the fractal decides to rally. And this is exactly what happened here. Uh, we had uh, a bottom here exactly. Uh, it went up a little, then went down, and then it took off. Okay, so uh, the turning points, a lot of times, uh, generally, they're pretty, uh, they're, uh, pretty spot on. But at times, you're going to get a little throwover. So uh, when you're doing a trade and you have a stop, uh, you have to give yourself a little room on the stop because uh, it'll maybe uh, drop uh, on, a, on a spike and then go right back up again. This is what happened here on the five-minute uh, uh, ES. Okay, let's take another uh, one here. Okay, on the NQ, now again, the fractals you can uh, use in any market, all right? And uh, Neil found a, uh, a one-hour bottom here. Okay, let's take a look at the one-hour bottom. Okay, the one-hour bottom is this fractal here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that, that's very common. I think I have that in uh, my library, but if you refer to um, this particular fractal, that re represents the bottom here. The bottom is right here. Again, a turning point, uh, generally, uh, you'll have a spike straight up. Okay, so you have to be kind of quick on these. Uh, on the one hour, well, the one hour, again, would be a little bit safer because if uh, you notice a, uh, um, a spike up here, it's going to uh, probably go uh, a lot higher, which it did here. Again, one, two, three four, five. You kind of have to scale, Dave, the fractal to get a better picture too. And what I do, um, you can en enlarge the uh, 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 chart to get a better picture. But this is a good uh, turning point here. Again, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Again, if you repeat and do this every day, which we do, uh, every minute, okay, uh, you'll memorize uh, the fractals here, and you can uh, determine the turning points. Now, that was on the, uh, on the NQ. So we're looking at the fractals on the ES, uh, gold, uh, gas, uh, the NQ, the Dow. They appear in all markets. It really doesn't matter uh, what happens here. Now, sometimes that 7 up might go up to 9, okay, and then it goes back down again. So he found a uh, nine wave up on a three hour uh, micro chart. Um, okay, do we have another one here? Now he found another seven up on the Dow chart on the 30 minute th time frame. Now we saw this before, I think earlier, we pointed that out. I think that was in a uh, different market, so they appear again. So again, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, that would be. A seven up top. Now, if the Dow uh, does not uh, begin to decline here, okay, it's going to go a lot higher. 
And I think if he if he found this on a, on the morning on Friday, the Dow went uh, right uh, right up uh, quite a bit, like three hundred points. So this would be a good entry point. Uh, ideally, uh, we would have a decline here, but the Dow continued to climb. That becomes the top reversal. That's a turning point. Originally, uh, we had a uh, a top here, and we were expecting a decline. But rather than declining, okay, which it should have, uh, it had a, a top reversal, meaning it went right up, in which which it did on Friday. Okay, uh, on the longer term, Friday was a little difficult here. Um, I was looking at the micro on uh, all the time frames. And the only one I found clear was on the five-hour time frame, okay? Uh, we have a classic seven up here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. However, okay, uh, on the longer time frame, this went up uh, a little higher. Uh, that means a top reversal, okay? I was wrong with the trade here because I thought it would stop here. Uh, because everything was pretty well equal. But if it didn't stop here, it would continue to be higher on a top reversal. Okay, let's take a look at another one here. Um, oh, he found a good one here, too. Um, that, was, that was his original uh, 5M bottom, which we saw before. We had a bottom here, went up. We had a little throwover. Now, if you're willing to uh, risk uh, a point or two uh, on a stop for the bottom, okay, you would have had a great trade here. Okay, so when you uh, find a turning point, uh, allow a little wiggle room uh, for a spike. All right, and this one went straight up. Okay, he found that on a five-minute time frame. Now, uh, see, what he, oh, well, okay. Okay, now he has a fractal pair for decline. The base is the daily micro. The copy is the 45-minute chart. Okay, so what he uh, what he's saying here, Dave, is a similarity between the two time frames. The 40-minute time frame and one uh, and the daily time frame. The 45-minute time frame is pretty similar to the daily time frame. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then on a daily, we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's the daily. Uh, what we're looking at the fractals here are similarities. Okay, this one here is pretty darn close to the daily. One, two, three, four, five. Again, it's not identical, it's, but it's very similar. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, this leg is a little bit uh, bigger than this leg here. Now, on the daily, this leg here is equal to this leg here. So you have to kind of use the art form to say, well, this is pretty darn similar, and this is pretty darn similar here. And you can find – now, this would be an example of a base and copy. Okay, this is the base, and this is a copy. Uh, ideally, uh, the micro uh, should go back down. Uh, from the 40-minute time frame, which I think it did. I, but, again, I think this was on Friday. Uh, let's take a look at another one here. Okay. Oh, here's his uh, update on the one-hour NQ bottom here. One, two, three, four, five, straight up. Okay. Again, it takes practice. more time you do this, uh, okay. Now, uh, at times, the 7-up will go to 9. Okay, and you have to wait for a confirmation. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ideally, that should be the top, but uh, you have to wait for a good confirmation. 
And what happened here, it went up nine. Okay. So you have to wait for a confirmation on these turning points. That's the three hour time frame. Okay. Now on the gold, we have a three hour bottom here. This is pretty nice. Okay. Um, a three hour time frame. Again, that gives you a little bit more room, uh, on the trade. And what he found was, uh, this is, uh, again, uh, a quasi uh, fractal. It's not perfect. Ideally, uh, we would have a leg up and we have, we would have uh, a little rally up here, but it was kind of flat line. And then we have down and then we should have a little rally up here, but it was flat line. Then went back down again. Okay. So based on this fractal here, okay, the top is here, the bottom is here. And what, what happened consequently is on the top here, okay, this particular fractal, it did hit a bottom and look at, look at what happened. It went right back up to support again. Unbelievable. Okay. Uh, again, I, I believe I put this in the, uh, fractal catalog. But again, when you keep repeating and viewing the charts here, okay, again, you go back to video and look at, uh, at these common fractals. We'll do some more in the future. But when you see this particular form in any market, on any time frame, on any instruments, okay, it's an indication of a good probability, uh, for a turn. Okay. Uh, you may get the exact turn. Uh, oftentimes you do. Uh, sometimes you may have a little throw over, which is okay because nothing's perfect in life. And then you have the turning point and it goes back up again. It's all probability. But if you have a good form here, uh, you have a good turning point. Okay. So let's go again. We're memorizing the fractals here and which one is, oh, I think we've seen this one before. Uh, here's the, uh, one hour NQ bottom. Uh, that's the clearest fractal. Uh, during the day, uh, a lot of times nothing will appear on the, um, on a microgrid or a macro grid. So you have to wait patiently until you find a clear fractal. Okay. Let's go up a little bit more here. Oh, there's his, uh, update on the fractal bottom here. One, two, three, four, five, straight up. Oh, it went way above support here. So that was higher. And I think on Friday, it went pretty high. Okay. There's his update on the NQ again. And that's how it started. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. It began to rally. One, two, three, four, five. It began to rally and just continued to go up. So again, this is another standalone fractal, a common uh, turning point. Okay. Now what we have here. Okay. He found this on the open. Okay. Now on the open, uh, again, it's not a good idea to trade between 930, 1030. Uh, uh, too much is happening. And what happened? I remember this one here too. I saw it. Uh, it was on a 50 minute time frame and we had top here at 4094. Okay. So we're thinking, okay, the market's going to turn down here. Okay. Uh, I believe this was, yeah, 928. I believe that was Friday morning. Okay. We saw this fractal here. One, and this is a little slider. Unorthodox because, uh, that leg is not equal to that leg. Okay. So, uh, you have to kind of watch yourself. Now, if that's the case here, you have the top ideally up here and then you have the bottom here. Now, uh, we were expecting a decline. It, it did, uh, decline. Okay. However, in the morning, because of the spike, it broke above the top of a fractal here and it went straight up. Okay. So this is uh, another good example of a top reversal. Let's take a look at another one here. Uh, again, we're looking at the uh, standalone fractals. Oh, this is, uh, this is another good one here too. Okay. I think we saw this. Uh, okay. He's looking at a five minute bottom here. Okay. Again, one, two, three, four, five. This particular fractal, okay, is a bottom fractal. You got the bottom here. You got the top here. Okay, you enter here. Once it uh, starts to spike, you put a stop there to protect yourself. And this went straight up. 
Okay, so again, uh, remember it, uh, write it down. I do that uh, quite a bit uh, at my desk. Okay, and let's take another one here. What else does he have? Uh, oh, the fractal bands, all that means, uh, Dave, uh, you put a uh, line on the bottom and a line on the top. Okay, this is uh, another common fractal here. One, two, uh, a little hesitation here, and then a top. Okay, that happened on the two-hour, well, he's from London. That happened on the two-hour uh, FTSE uh, uh, market there. Okay, and yeah, let's take another uh, good one here. That was uh, that was the overthrow. That was the overthrow. Um, okay, now he has a slider bottom here at forty eighty two. Again, uh, it's not exact. The kind of quasi. I would, I would stay with the uh, very, very, very similar fractals rather than uh, quasi-fractals. Okay, that's a quasi-fractal here. That's the bottom. And, uh, oh, this is pretty good, too. Uh, a 15-minute top. Okay, this is a standalone fractal again here. Uh, very classic. One, two, three, four, five. This one right here. Okay, your top is right here. Okay. And it attempted to go to the top I think there was a very, I think it uh, overthrew by like uh, 0.50 and then it went down again, okay? But later on in the day, it went back up again and it broke uh, resistance there and it went, uh, well, it went to the moon on Friday. Okay, let's take another one here. Uh, okay, he's looking at silver, so again... Uh, we looked at gold, and now uh, we're looking at silver. But again, uh, it's got to top out first. Again, we have seven up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I would mm, – that's going to be a tough one there. But you can see the form again. Uh, you get the seven up, and you get the seven up on all markets. Okay. Um, okay, this is very common here, too. <laughs> Uh, this is a four-hour uh, top here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And that did turn down. Let's take, again, we're looking at uh, standalone fractals. Oh, Google. How many times have we seen this here? Okay. Now, that's uh, on a daily chart on the stock. Now, that's that three up again, or five up. One, two, three, four, five. You have a big leg, a smaller leg, and a smaller leg. Okay, so the bottom would be here. The, bo the top would be here. We expect uh, the market to decline, which it did. That was good confirmation. And the target would be uh, around support. However, you have the top here. If it goes above the top, that would be a top reversal, meaning Google will go back up again. Okay, so again, you can apply the fractals on silver, gold, uh, stocks, options, Oh, there's another fractal, too. I think we've seen this before uh, in our earlier discussion. Uh, this is on Amazon. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's the top there. You get the bottom there. If it goes be, uh, beyond the top, that's the top reversal. Uh, initial target would be support here. I, we, we've seen this before or earlier. Okay, so again, uh, you can uh, view the video for uh, good examples of the fractals. I don't have a name for them. Uh, I haven't figured that uh, part out yet. Oh, Telsa. Okay, I want to put this out to you, Dave. All right, on Telsa. We have a one-hour top. Okay, it's stock. Look. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, put that in your memory. Write it down. Draw it. And what we're going to do, we're going to go back to Google. Okay. Very similar. One, two, three, four, five, top. Memorize the form right here.
I think, I hope I'm not confusing you. Is that, uh, oh, that is Google. Let's take that back. That is Google. And that's Telsa. Well, Telsa and Google are the same, okay? Uh, this is Telsa. One, two, three, four, five. And this is This is Google. One, two, three, four, five. Do you see it? One, two, three, four, five. And then again, we go back to another one here. Oh, he's looking at a bottom here. He's looking at the bottom here. Okay. Oh, we've seen this before too. This is a... uh, one hour time frame, a standalone fractal on Facebook. Wait, bottom. Yeah, this is the bottom here. One, two, three, four, five. This is pretty good. Uh, you have an equal leg here, almost an equal leg here. Then you have a little bump up and a little decline. Then it takes off. Okay, so at the bottom of the fractal, you're going to have a spike for a good confirmation. And that went straight up. And this is a good common fractal. Again, you can refer to these charts. I'm going to put them all together for everybody, too, when I get some time. Um, yeah, let's, uh, okay, this one here. Okay, uh, this, again, is a common fractal here. Uh, he's calling for a uh, Dow top at 33050. Uh, initially it did drop, but I believe, I don't know what they were on here, but, uh, again, if we break the top here, that would be a top reversal, meaning that that would go up. Uh, initial target here would be support, meaning that that would take a little while to, uh, come down here. Okay, let's take out another one. Oh, this is, um, okay, this is a DES. Uh, this uh, particular fractal here, one, two, three, four, five, is similar to what we saw on Telsa, on Facebook, and for Google. It's the same fractal, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, not exact, but the form is pretty much there. Okay, so we're seeing um, the same fractals on a uh, on the futures and on a, uh, on individual stock. Oh, this is really nice here. Um, we have a five minute bottom reversal here okay um initially we have a pretty good bottom here one two three okay a little bump up in line you have an equal leg here an equal leg here now ideally all right uh you can enter the trade here on a little uh bounce but no guarantee uh another fractal uh may have appeared on another time frame and it pushes the fractal down. So what we have here is a bottom reversal because the market broke support here. So it's going to go down. If it went above here, okay, that would continue to go up. But it kind of failed there. Okay, let's take another one here. Oh, this is, uh, yeah, this is another good example of a bottom reversal. That's on a 10 minute time frame. Uh, one, two, you have an equal leg here and an equal leg here. Now, again, they point to turns, but we don't know how far or uh, if it's going to reverse. Over here, one, two, three, four, five, uh, yeah, uh, it spiked up, which uh, we were expecting for a bottom, but it failed, and then it broke support here. That would be bottom reversal, meaning uh, the ES would go down. What happened later, I don't know. Uh, until we find uh, another fractal. Okay. That was initially uh, DES bottom there. One, two, three, four, five. It rallied and then went back down again. Um, this one is a unorthodox slider here. Uh, it should be a bottom. But when I see, again, we, we should have an equal leg here, an equal leg here. Now, if you don't, uh, that's a little unorthodox, uh, semi-quasi, so you have to be kind of careful on that one there. Uh, I think what happened here was um, the slider at 4067. I, th- 
I'm not, I can't remember when, I think that was a couple of days ago. Well, the point being, uh, if it held here, it's going to rally, okay? And the target would be uh, the top here. We're going back a lot of days here. I'm trying to uh, pick out the good ones here. Um, okay. Now, he's doing, doing this minute by minute, too. So sometimes it's a little hard to keep up with him. Uh, here's the nine waves down. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, uh, you have to be careful on the seven count because sometimes it goes to a nine count. But if it goes to a nine count, okay, it's going to go back up again, which this one did uh, quite a bit. Okay, let's take another one here. Keep looking. I'm trying to find a really good uh, good ones for you. Uh, okay, he does this quite often, quite frequently. Oh. Uh, this one he got pretty, he got this pretty good. Uh, we have a seven down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's a turning point. It spiked, and we're assuming it's going to go up. However, if you look down here, yeah, it went up. It spiked, but it broke the bottom of the fractal here, the support. So that becomes a reversal. So when I'm trading, I'm looking at uh, the turning points. And again, I mentioned before that I'm I'm only looking for about ten points. Okay, uh, if you get five, you get ten uh, ten points. You out of the trade. Okay, so if I did this trade here, I would have been out. Okay, and I wouldn't care if it broke support here. Okay, so uh, again, I'm looking for, I'm looking for the turns. I'm, tr I'm trying to get uh, uh, five or ten points, and that's about it. Let me see if I can find anything else here. I think now he does this every minute, almost every minute. So, uh, okay, this is a pretty good top here too. Um, this is a three-hour uh, silver. Now we're looking at silver, and he's waiting for the fractal to complete. And again, this is a pretty common fractal here. One, two, three, four, five. I think we've seen this before. Okay, this this is the bottom here. And this is on uh, top here. Now, it could go a little bit higher. Uh, you have to wait for a confirmation. But looking at the fractal initially, okay, that would be a complete standalone fractal that you can take action on. Uh, you'll know if it goes up, and you, you'll know if it goes down, okay? Uh, if it held here, okay, um, the target would be around 23 over here. I'm not sure what happened on that one here. Okay, let's take another one here. Uh, this is pretty similar here too. Again, one, two, three, four, five, top. Uh, that's on silver, and I think we saw this top on Telsa, Google, and Facebook. Uh, not perfect, but very similar. One, two, three, four, five. You have the big leg. Uh, you have a little smaller leg, and another smaller leg. So what you want to do when you're trading is uh, ideally you want uh, a, a pretty close similar match. Okay, then you can do the trade. Uh, a lot of times you, know, you get variations, but uh, for uh, someone beginning, you would probably want to start with uh, being pretty safe and make sure you have a very, very, very similar fractal. This one is here. This is a top. You put your fractal band there, and you put a fractal band there, okay? All right, let's take another look here. Uh, oh, this is very this is very reliable here, too. What? Oh, a two-hour time frame. Two-hour oil. Jeez. Now, Dave, we, we, I pointed this out earlier to you uh, in, the begin, uh, in the beginning of a video. Okay, this form here. One, two, three three, four, five. Memorize it. Put it uh, in your mind. You know, put it down on a piece of paper. Whenever you see uh, a long uh, dip here and then the rally becomes or uh, decline becomes shorter and shorter, okay, this is a standalone fractal indicating a bottom fractal for a turn, which it did. 
Now, this is on a two hour or so. This would be a good uh, day trade. You could probably hold on to it uh, from two o'clock to three o'clock to four o'clock. All right. So a longer time frame uh, fractals are uh, probably a little safer to, uh, to work with. But this is uh, ideal. So all you have to do is wait, uh, wait throughout the week until you see a perfect match like this one here. One, two, three, four, five. Guaranteed that's going to turn up. Okay, well, not guaranteed, but uh, it could go back down again. But uh, it's a high probability uh, the bottom will hold, especially if it starts spiking up. Okay, so again, it's all a probability, but you have your top here and you have your bottom here. So uh, you're uh, pretty well protected. You can define your risk. If we break the bottom there, it's a bottom reversal. Uh, then you take action. Okay, now, that, was, that was a pretty nice one. Uh, try to find a really uh, some clear ones here. Okay, well we're covering a lot of material here. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do, Dave, I'm going to try to save this one, and I'm going to send it to you, and let me know how it sounds and looks. This is the first time I'm doing this on uh, Telegram. Uh, streaming. I'm. I'm hoping it's streaming. Uh, is it recording on your end? Yeah, I can see it's recording. Oh, okay, okay. What's this one here? Uh, oh, this is a um, ES bottom. Okay. We saw this before. Again, I mentioned before, you have a long leg down, uh, a shorter leg down, and then a shorter leg down, a turning point. Bottom to top. Look what happened here to the right. One, two, three. You get the bottom, a turning point, and it broke the top. That's your target. Okay. So again, we're looking at probabilities of uh, the market turns here. So I think that this is a pretty good video. I'm kind of curious if I can I can play it back. I hope I can get it all here. So what I'm going to do? Okay. Do you have any questions, Dave? Uh, we uh, we've been here for a little while. Um, anything I can do to help you? Any questions? Uh, any setups? No, no questions. Okay. Okay, is uh are things uh, becoming more clear and clearer every week here? Are you trying to uh are you, uh, uh getting the hang of it here? Oh, here's a nice slider yeah. here. Oh, here's a micro slider. This is perfect. Equal leg, equal leg, and you have a little slide. Okay, so this would be top and this would be the bottom. The target would be support here, but if we break the top here. Okay, that becomes a top reversal, meaning it's going to go a lot higher. I think that did. Okay, that's a good slider. Uh, here's a Bitcoin top. Okay, this is your top. This is your bottom. If it goes beyond the top, it's a top reversal up. It means it goes a lot higher. Okay, uh, ideally the target would be at support here. Okay. I wonder if I can do this uh, during the day on my uh, on a channel for everybody. I don't know. I'm just I'm just kind of curious uh, if uh, the vi video is very clear. Oh, here, uh, classic uh, top here, right here. One, two, three, four, five. Equal leg, equal leg. A uh, little bump. Oh, that's on silver. All right. So the top is here. The bottom's here. Uh, target is the bottom here at support. The top here, okay. Uh, if it goes beyond uh, beyond the top here, it's going to go a lot higher. Okay, so uh, looking at the fractals, uh, you can literally determine the uh, direction there uh, on on the fractal turns here. But this is very classic. Equal, equal, then the last leg uh, fails, and that's it. Okay. Uh, again, you'll find this particular fractal in any market. Again, 
in any time frame, in any country, currencies, anything. Okay. All right. There's there's a nice top here too. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, again, that would be the top there. That'd be the bottom there. Targets uh, for the bottom. If we break above the uh, resistance here at the top, it's reversal up, and the market's going to go up. Then I I would jump on a trade. Okay. Now this is another slider. Uh, that's on gold. Uh, not perfect because the legs aren't equal. A little unorthodox there. Okay, and, uh, okay. Where do you find that one at? Uh, oh, that's the top. Well, that's a little bit complicated. I, 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 I'm only looking at the uh, uh, very clear fractals here. So, what I'm, okay, what I'm going to do today, David, is uh, <clears throat> I want to hang up here to see if I can save the video for you. And then we okay. can do another one. Then we can do another one next week. Uh, I had bronchitis uh, during the week there, so um, that's why you know I had problems uh, connecting with people. Uh, I took a couple, a couple of days off, but uh, I'm feeling a little bit better now. So uh, hopefully uh, we can uh, we'll get together next uh, Saturday at the same time. Okay, buddy. All right, sounds good. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, Hopefully, uh, I can save this video when I um, when I save it, and then I'll put it in your folder. Okay, and let me know uh, how it uh, how it uh, looks uh, when uh, you open it up. Okay. Oh, by the way, how, how many how many videos did we do so far? Uh, are you keeping count? I I can't remember. I I have to go back and count. Yeah, can you go back and count how many uh, videos we did? I'm just uh, kind of curious. Okay, so let me uh, let me hang up, and I'm going to review the video here. Okay, and we'll see you next Saturday. Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay, okay. Uh, you have a nice weekend, and I'm going to hang up right now. Okay. All okay, right. Okay, here we. Okay, here we go.